Jigsaw, yeah, he's Punisher-esque. Yeah, he's kind of like the Equalizer. You know, I mean, you know, is if what what if okay, what if what if the Punisher or Equalizer was like even older and had cancer? <laughs> That's pretty much what 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 Jigsaw is in this in this particular film. Hello, and thank you for checking out the video. I just want to let you know that I not only create content on my YouTube channel, Class in the Glass, but I'm also on Twitch, where I review movies, cartoons, and TV shows live, while also playing single-player games and multiplayer games. I also have a Patreon, where subscribers have access to hundreds of video and audio commentaries for films and cartoons, as well as podcasts and video casts. In the meantime, thank you again for watching. Enjoy the video. Gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on to the next part of my show, which is my review for Saw X or Saw Wakanda Forever, which you know I, I imagine it might be referring to, Chad. And uh, for those that don't know, this particular Saw film is a, another, I guess, prequel, sequel, timey wimey mumbo jumbo. I don't know where it is in the timeline. You let me know, Chad. But it's it it is it is some it is somewhere within the Saw timeline before all the rest of the other movies happened, I would say. Well, for those that don't know, hoping for a miraculous cure, John Kramer travels to Mexico for a risky and experimental medical procedure, only to discover the entire operation is a scam to defraud the most vulnerable and sick. Armed with a newfound purpose, the infamous serial killer uses deranged and ingenious traps to turn the tables on these con artists. Before getting into the nitty-gritty details of the film itself, you know, I want to briefly talk about my experience with the Saw franchise. You know, for those that don't know, I've never been the biggest fan of the Saw films or the, the torture porn subgenre, which kind of helped usher in in the 2000s. You know, while the first and the third Saw films are, are, are entertaining enough and probably, you know, before the release of this one, probably the best of the franchise. The, the rest of the series and the films it later inspired just, just featured, I think, ridiculous, confusing, and contradicting plot lines with some pretty downright awful acting in between all that. So, you know, going into this movie, uh, I had a lot of misgivings and very low subterranean expectations for uh, Saw X. And... Um, that's why I'm very surprised to say this, but Saw X is easily the best Saw film since the original, if not better than the first movie. I know, I know. I can't believe I'm saying either, chat. You know, of all the films this week, I did not have the, the Crater and Saw and, and Paw Patrol, the money movie. I, would, I don't think I would have found myself saying, you know what, Saw is going to be the best movie out of all of those <laughs> this, this particular weekend, but... At least so far, chat, it, it, it is. It's, it's infinitely better than something like The Creator. You know, the thing that I think really helps it is that we are primarily focused on, on Tobin Bell as, uh, as John Kramer, who, who is Jigsaw. You know, I want to say this movie takes place sometime after the first, but in terms of the chronology of the other films, I think you guys might know better than I do. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know the timeline uh, very, very well. But I think I could definitively say it, it does take place after the first film, maybe like a couple of week, weeks after the, the first film. You know, we focus on, on Bell's Kramer, who has pretty much just given up hope in, in curing himself or even, even treating his, his brain cancer. You know, but after hearing about this kind of experimental but seemingly successful procedure uh, in Mexico, uh, he goes there is apparently uh, cured and just kind of has his whole new lease on life and, and finds love with humanity again. Like, he, it's literally like, you know, he just walks out of that stairs and is like, ah, I love it here. And he starts, starts helping people, starts just like taking care of people. It's like, well, wow, <laughs> he's so much better. But, you know, in the timeline, we know this takes place, you know, just after the first one. Then you have all the other ones. So like, well, something's going to go bad. And yes, Chad, of course. The procedure it, it itself turns out to be a scam, and those doctors and the ones that assist them experience Jigsaw's wrath uh, for, the, for the rest of the movie. Uh, the, the, the doctors are, are the villains of the movie, by the way. And, and Jigsaw, the, though brutal in, in his methods, is kind of the hero. And you're pretty much on his side through the entire movie, Chad, because they make these doctors 
just the biggest scumbags imaginable. I mean, already they set up where it's like they've been scamming all these people, all these innocent people, all these grandmas who have cancer, all these little kids that have cancer, Chad, all these diseases. It's like, oh, yeah, we can cure you. And then doing nothing and they fucking, uh, they, all their money goes to these doctors and then they all wither and die. It's like, yeah, fuck these people. <laughs> like, yeah, I get jigsaw. Hey, man, I wash my hands. Go ahead. Do whatever you want to do with them, man. All right, just just make it entertaining and make it and make it brutal. Uh, and so I, I like that aspect of the, of the movie quite a bit. You know that that switch is is what makes this particular I think entry so refreshing. And and we're with Tobin Bell I think more than in any other entry that that I that I've seen. Maybe he's in one of the other movies more, but I I would say of the of the jaw of, of excuse me of the Saw films that I've watched over the, you know the last two decades. This is the most screen time I think he's he's ever gotten. And um you know, and I also I think it's 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 one of the it's one of the better written saw movies. Um probably since again, maybe the first and the third one, if not better than than those uh films. You know, um and and I I like that. You know, you you're you're totally on on Jigsaw's side throughout this film and we get to see his perspective as people are, you know, being subjected to his, 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 his traps, you know, and listen, the other thing too, you're like Jigsaw's, you know, code, his code of honor, if you want to even consider it that, I think has always been kind of somewhat inconsistent in the film series, it's like, okay, yeah, you've had, he's gone after people, it's like, for years you embezzled money from this charity, or, or you, you, you murdered your, your, your spouse in order to get with that young, hot, you know, hussy, or, but then other times it's like, you cheated on your eighth grade math test, I'm like, I don't think you need to go after that person, because they cheated on their eighth grade math test, um, uh, uh, you know, Mr. Jigsaw, but, you know, here, it, it works, and so many of these victims are just murderous scumbags that are probably worse than even him, it's like you could say at the end of the day, it's like, OK, yeah, he's maybe not a good person all the way through, but he's not like, you know, tricking children or old people out of their their money and saying that he cured them. So it's like technically, I would say in terms of, you know, who's worse, I would say the doctors are worse than Jigsaw in this. Like, no question. And you're 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 with them uh, throughout this entire film. Also, you know what? The, the traps. The traps really stand out to me in this in this movie. You know, the sequels seem, based on the ones that I have seen, I haven't seen them all, so maybe this changes, okay? But the sequels seem to all be about the traps and became, I think, just pretty ridiculous over time. Um, you know, these are not as elaborate as those later ones. Um, but I actually think that's for the best, in all honesty, because the traps themselves are are, are grisly and, and very effective in, in creating tension that often leads to a very gross outcome, consistently leads to a gross outcome. You know, I won't spoil like every single trap in this movie, but you have like ones that forces you to scoop out your own brain matter and have it weighed in like a cup or a Petri dish, right? And you have like another one, which is like one of my favorites in the movie, where it, it forces you to, like, cut off your legs and then use a machine to, like, suck out your own bone marrow, right? Like, that's, that's the stuff that, like, Jigsaw's, you better, you got to do this or you'll die, all right? Cut off your legs, suck out your bone marrow, put it on there, and then you'll, yeah, you'll live. You'll be, you'll be stubby for the rest of your life, but, hey, you'll be alive, and you'll learn something, right? You'll learn not to be a fucking scumbag ripping off all these grandmas and all these little kids in Mexico, all right? Don't do that. And uh, then there's a whole host of other... Uh, traps like even the one that we see in the in the poster right now which is through all the marketing that's like an eyeball sucking machine and it's like we, we see it sucking eyeballs chat and it's like oh but they're not like we don't have as many of the ridiculous traps like in the sequels where it's like this entire fucking we have a giant maze and you know you got to go in this room and that room and then there's like a, the whole the walls are closing on you and there's a billion blades it's like i understand that that jigsaw has multiple people working for him or has had apprentices, you know, to whatever degree, and he has had copycats, but I'm like, and I know that he's wealthy, but it's like some of these places, I'm like, I don't think he's that wealthy, <laughs> and so here, it kind of takes it a little bit back to basics, very similar to the traps that we've seen in 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 one and most certainly three, 
And but they they, they just they, it's like yeah they're they're fucking of course in the end of the day they're ridiculous and over the top but they're not as ridiculous as I think they they got later on in the in the movie series here it's like oh these are actually pretty cool and innovative and it's like oh, I can I guess I could realistically see someone putting something like this together so all the all the trap stuff you know for me as something someone who's not into torture porn at all it's like oh this is actually kind of working it's kind of working plus you just like seeing these people get hurt because it's like hey fuck them because of all the horrible things that they uh, that they did and again you know I go back to to Bell's performance which is the thing that I think kept me the most invested in this movie. The choice to do a lot of new things with Jigsaw outside the trap making, I think is very interesting. And I appreciate that they also gave him some heroic moments that I did not expect to happen. Like there's a, there's a whole sequence in this movie where he has to work with someone who is uh, who is a character introduced for the first time in this film. And I was like, oh, how's this going to play out? And I actually really liked it. And it, and it frames Jigsaw in, a, in a, a whole new light, certainly for people that have had many misgivings about the franchise or have only seen a couple of uh, uh, films. And it's like, wow, I actually like this quite a bit. You know, um, I, you know if, if, if you never liked the, the Saw films, then like even the first one or even the third one, then maybe this might still not be for you. But if you enjoyed the first and the third, the very least those two, I think you're going to really enjoy this one since it just introduces so many new things to the series and also allows us to spend the most time with Jigsaw ever, at least based on what I've seen. I think this is the most we've ever spent with him. I think that, that was a smart choice. Um, I mean, it sets up. I mean, the film, don't, don't you worry, it sets up a whole... There's a, there's a stinger, stingers galore in this movie, and I wouldn't be surprised if they do make a, a, another one, but I wonder if they'll, they'll adhere to this new take on jigsaw i mean i don't know how they're gonna constantly fit in you know they they kind of shot themselves in the foot by killing off the as far as i know unless he came back as a zombie or something or you know, that was a fake they might have faked me out one of those movies please let me know but they kind of shot themselves in the foot by killing him in one of the sequels and so like they can only go so far into the future as they can but i i would not be surprised if they're like hey let's continue to fit some more this takes place before the events of this movie and it's now it's a week after uh, uh, Saw, you know, X, Saw Wakanda Forever, chat, Saw 10. That might, that might be doing it. But hey, if this is the last one, if this is the last one, and it was just meant to kind of show us, you know, like, hey, Jigsaw, it's like, yeah, he did bad things, but hey, look what happened, and look at his circumstances, look at him where he's actually kind to people and help them, and that did not involve putting him in a torture device, then you might like this quite a bit. I certainly did. So yeah, chat, like right here, I got to tell you, um, this was a huge surprise to me, but it kind of continues the trend of like really good horror movies for the last couple of years, certainly last year, but even this year, you know, getting stuff like Talk to Me, Evil Dead Rise, um, like Megan, right? There's been, and, and there's all that, Scream 6, like there's been a lot, and even and in franchises that I didn't think of, like they, they just like, hey, they've been spinning their wheels, there's no fucking gasoline in the tank. They found something with this, and they, they, they managed to entertain me in a franchise I've never really liked all that much to begin with and for me I, I think at least again I'm coming off this movie fresh literally only saw it a few hours ago but I would say this is the best Saw movie in the entire franchise who would have thought the 10th entry be one of the best if not the best but that's the world that we living uh, that we're living in chat so hey congratulations to, to to Saw X to Saw 10 Wakanda forever indeed Jigsaw but what about you guys uh, have you seen Saw X did you even consider seeing the movie are you as shocked as I am after watching it that it's actually pretty goddamn good? Let me know. I hope everyone enjoyed the video, and I want to take the time to tell you about my Patreon, Class in the Glass, which offers hundreds of film commentaries and video reactions to numerous movies, TV shows, and cartoons. If you're a fan of shows like Batman the Animated Series and Avatar The Last Airbender, or films like Aliens and Raiders of the Lost Ark, my Patreon is the platform for you. Currently, I'm doing a subathon to reach 75 subs on the platform. If we hit 75 subs, we'll be able to start voting on the next edited YouTube reaction, which will include actual clips and scenes from the movies and shows I comment over. Choose from such films as Fire and Ice, Masters of the Universe, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the Movie, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, or Spawn. Subscribing at any tier level is appreciated, and feel free to give feedback at any time. Thank you again for watching the video, and see you next time.